Well, how about that? And welcome back to Sinosaga. Episode 1, Der Villa Sur Macht. Um, which, by the way, f uh, for Nietzsche, is basically um, his definition of um, life. Well, life force sort of thing. They didn't do much genetics back in his day. Um, but yeah, lots of stuff happened, as you can tell. We are now on what is called, I believe... No, there's no location information. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, we are inside a Gnosis. And apparently we can just walk around and uh, not get... Uh, Whitened and all that beeswax. Huh, what is that thing? Ah, yeah, I saw an enemy up there. Um, let's just see if maybe I can lure him to the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> yeah, right, there is a recommendation on a party here. Fion, Cosmos, and Chaos. Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Put some skill points in him and sort of that kind of thing. Right. Uh, I also picked up an item you sub for uh, a night walker. Just going to see if. No. Okay. I'm not going to be able to extract that skill. So instead, I will equip chaos with this. Um, Nah, walker. You can see there, it prevents sleep. And why is this a good thing? We will come to that. Or, well, one of the enemies will um, cast sleep stuff on us. So let's just try not to get hit by that kind of thing. Here we go. I will leave this fight in and uh, cut out all the rest. Okay, so this is not the enemy that will um, hit us with sleep. Let's see if you're sensitive to B. So, this is around the time when it starts to get um, really helpful to uh, exploit... <laughs> yeah, exploit your enemy's um, uh, attribute sensitivities. Be. Oh, you are not serious. Well, um, or you could just bring Cosmos to the fight. Um, wow, I just did not see that one coming. Well, um, sure, whatever. Okay, and he's gonna get the point bonus lock. That's just too bad. The enemies have been exterminated. Okay, well, unless something uh, more interesting uh, comes up, that should be the only fight you'll see for a while. Um, right, the Durando. I completely forgot to talk about that in the. Uh, in one of the previous cutscenes. Um, okay. Yeah, this is the way. Uh, yeah, what, what did I want to say about the Durandal? Well, if you compare it to, say, the design for the Eldridge in the intro for Xeno you know, Gears, you'll see a couple of commonalities. Um, yeah, uh, those commonalities, um, um, yeah, between the Eldridge and the Durandal. Um, why don't you keep them in mind for um, episode 3? I mean, um, the third game in the series, not video 3, but... Yeah, Sinosaga episode 3, Alsosprach Salathustra. 
Um, yeah. Okay, a little bit more cussings on the way, I understand. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English. But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here, too. Are we... really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon! Huh? Oh, well, that was what, creepy. Did you find something? Huh? Uh, no. Uh, no, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the Defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the Defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the Defendant must pay for his crimes, but with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level seven personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist, but it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What, did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. Now that is just Cold. Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. Wow. Yeah. It does suck to be him. Law, the defendant will now undergo level eight personality reconditioning. 
With this, Defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject with a level 9 procedure. Yeah, he did all that. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... You looked like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, cool, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. Well, now we understand why he doesn't like nano procedures, nano surgery, and the like. So that personality reconditioning, as far as I can tell, it's not really uh, elaborated on. It sort of rewires your brain to change your um, personality through uh, nano machines, and then, uh, well, the glyphs on his forehead. Uh, well. They uh, show up when um, the nano machines uh, try to inhibit unwanted behavior. Oh boy. Neurostim. Let's just look at what that does real quick. Hmm. Yeah. Status effects in um, this game are divided into uh, physical and, well, mental. I should say, uh, I, I would well, I would say rather than uh, psych. Um, yeah, they are categories of uh, status. Well, ailments or something. Uh, 
status oh right well as i was going to say oh i'm not one of those guys uh, yeah the status effects in uh, the xenosaga games are uh, a pretty big deal uh oh some action here right as i was going to say status effects in uh, the xenosaga games play a great role don't uh, Phew, okay, well, he won't chase me past that point. See, see? I'll just run around here and he will not mind at all. Um, so there are uh, various status effects you can be hit with, of course. But, well, okay. I, I think I messed that up. Okay, so yeah, status effects important, at least in episode 2 and 3. Here in episode 1, they are not as. They are not as influential. They are uh, still not to be disregarded, of course. I think the poison um, status in this game is uh, a bit more potent than in Final Fantasy, and certainly more potent than in Shining Force. And uh, you do not care about me whatsoever, Mr. Uh, thingy. Ah, well, whatever. Let's just push on. Okay, with that out of the way, there are no more enemies here. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, go into the menus a bit. Uh, I think I have some more points that I can make good use of for once. Not with Xion. Um Also, that um, FB shot that uh, Cosmos picked up, I discovered that it's actually not more powerful than her... Um, our cannon tech attack, so uh, I'm going to uh, unequip that momentarily. Hmm. I think Momo is actually surprisingly helpful in this dungeon, so I might end up putting her in the party. It's her uh, floral tempest thing. That's um, so great and awesome and all that. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. I can make one of these. Um, line spirit. Actually, I'm gonna go with this this time. And reduce wait time. Yeah. And your wings. There we go. Yes, it's gonna be so badass after this. So, Cosmos has a lot of points. Wow, yeah, already at tech level 2, our cannon is just tearing up everything. I will actually save those tech points for um, rainy days. Uh, yeah, since we're going to be using this, I will put some points into it. Okay, can we extract any skills yet? Yeah, we can. Although we are, yes, arguably uh, better off waiting, saving our points, like. And you can set that. Oh, yeah, that's right, I could, yeah. Some enemies are actually going to be using this. Well, trying to hit us with this status, so. Um, Let's just make it more difficult for the buggers. Okay, this might actually be a bad idea, but I want to put some more... Um, well, I want uh, to level these two up. It's going to be a very good idea. And yeah, unequip the cosmos this FB shot and replace it with this. Yeah, this is actually. I think this will actually be a very good thing to do. Well, tactic in a tactics sense at least. Let's see. Uh, so 
trap over there, wasn't there? I think I'll try to make use of it. If that thing could please move out of the way. It won't. Well, okay. <sighs> I may have told a slight lie. Um, oh, and something just glitched on my screen. Um, yeah. So, Momo with her uh, Floral Tempest did not help very much, here as I thought. Um, okay, I'm going this way first. So, at least I can report that um, Ziggy kicks all kinds of ass here, at least against those enemies. Yeah, this should be coat fire, right? Okay, then I'm um, at the place I'm supposed to be. That's, that's a den end kind of thing, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, this backdrop here, it's it's from Ariadne. And, uh, well, yeah, I should have probably mentioned that before, but... Um, that Ariadne flower, right? Maybe we could find that here. It's a bit of a stretch, yes, but hey, this is a JRPG. Uh, I thought there would be an enemy laying around here, laying in wait. Well, that made me feel kind of stupid missing that trap. Um, now I think this is a, this is actually a good good spe good place to um, cut the recording and uh, see you back for uh, another episode. I need to heal up after.